All right. So why? Why video? Anyone got a clue? Video. Why video? Yes, sir. Pictures worth a thousand words. Yeah. Pictures are worth a thousand, but videos are worth what? A million. Anyone else? It's an attention getter. Attention getter. Okay. Good. Nobody wants to read. No one wants to read. That's right. <laughs> because it's engaging. All right. When people see it, they, they get into it as long as it's good. Okay. If it's a 10 minute long video where you're just talking about yourself and your business, they're going to turn you off after two minutes and they're never going to ever watch you ever again. All right. It's engaging. 10% retain by reading, 20% retain by hearing, 50% retain by seeing. Okay. And get this one. If you, if you read, hear, and see, it's a 68% retention rate. 68%. Automation. Automation is a good thing. Not really. It really isn't. I mean, you, there's some purposes for it, but automation is not what you want to do. It's, it's all about engaging and interacting with people, okay, directly with people, because what that does is it grows a relationship. When it grows a relationship, the byproduct is growing your business. Okay, we're all about growing relationships with video and five. Automation is not interactive. Uh, a good friend of mine, Joe, actually came up with that one. Automation is not interactive. Automation equals frustration. Okay, um, who here has made a phone call to the bank? Press one for English. Press two for checking, press three for this. Ugh, just give me someone to talk to, okay? With video, you're starting to engage with people. Now, you've got your automated videos, uh, which my friend Joe calls push videos, where you just kind of get their attention, uh, and then you've got your pull videos, which, where you actually interact, which are more personal. So I could sit here and I could say, hey, Dan, how you doing? It's Joey Sampaga. You and I just met at uh, the ABC uh, Network event, and uh, I'd like to maybe get together with you sometime for coffee. All right. That's a video talking to Dan. Okay. So using those personal type videos uh, will start to pull people in. Okay. Does that make sense? Interactive equals relationship building. Relationship building. Relationship building equals what? Anyone want to guess? Successful growing business. I mentioned that earlier. All right, so if you grow your relationships properly, you're going to grow your business. It just happens. All right, people do business with people who they know, like, and trust. I'm sure, I'm sure you've heard that many, many times before, and it's true. ROI, what's that stand for? All right, is that cool? Did you get a good one? Yeah? How about this one? Nope. Not really. Okay, how about this one? ROR. And uh, I'm actually going to call him on Joe. Joe, can you tell us what ROR stands for? Uh, return on relationship. Return on relationship. Can you explain what that is? Um, well, you can't get a return on your investment until you make a connection first. So um, your relationship is where it really all starts. Until people know you and trust you and like you, they're definitely not going to do business with you. Okay. Who here actually tries to grow the relationships with their clients? I hope all of you raise your hand. <laughs> because what's going to happen after they do business with you? Talk about you. They're going to talk about you. What else? Referrals, yeah. What else? Do more business. Do more business. <laughs> yeah, that's important, right? You want return customers. All right, so grow those relationships. You know, that's what social media is for. And then people always say with social media and, and uh, video marketing, well, I don't have time to do it. Well, we got the answer for you right there. Time management with Emily Schwartz. 
Now there are three types of videos. I mentioned them earlier. There's a professional, the push, and the pull. The, pre the professional videos are when you go into a studio, a professional studio, and you shoot one where you're all dressed up like this, and then you have a teleprompter and, and you do your thing. So those are the professional ones. You can use those for like your home page or a special event that you're promoting. Uh, and then you got your push videos, which are more um, canned videos. Hey, it was a pleasure to meet you. Not notice I didn't say anyone's name. It's a pleasure to meet you. I hope I can uh, meet with you next time. Okay. Then you've got your pull videos, which are your personal ones, right? Hey, Cliff, how you doing? It's Joey Sampaga. Um, I, I really like that canteen that you had there. I was just wondering where you bought that. Imagine a video email going out to you just like that. And, and wouldn't it be cool if you responded back, oh yeah, I got that on sale at Target. So, uh, <laughs> I guessed. <laughs> so that's, a, that's an interaction between you and I. Right? It, it's a little bit more personal than just a quick email. Right? I didn't do that today yet, have I? I probably won't. I'm just known as a viral marketing black belt, and this is usually what I say. Um, now, here, here's a video that I use. Now, this is a push video, okay? Uh, right after I get off the phone with somebody, this is the video I automatically send to them. Okay? You take care now. Now, notice, what's the difference between this and YouTube? No ads, what else? It's private, what else? It's branded to you, or in this case, to me, right? So I don't have all those ads from YouTube, and after the video plays, I don't have more videos, related videos that come up that could possibly be my competition, all right? Um, here's another video with uh, Dr. Dane Tree. Hey, it's Dr. Tree, and I wanted to let you know that we just got the results back of the MRI that we ordered. So if you haven't had a visit scheduled already, please call our office, schedule a visit so that you and I can go over the results. I'll see you then. Bye-bye. Have you gotten anything like that from your doctor? No. Would that be kind of cool to get something like that? <laughs> Uh, and then how about this one here? Um, a friend of mine, Michael Maskey, he um, created one for, because he, he sells medical equipment and uh, sometimes they don't pay on time. So he decided to a attack it with humor. So here it is. Michael Maskey? Now he got some great response from that one. <laughs> great response from that one. They paid just because it was funny. <laughs> and then here's another one from Dane. Here's how he grabs people's attention, especially especially women, okay? So this is what he sent out. Say, watch my daddy. Watch my daddy. Say, watch. Watch. My. My. Daddy. Daddy. Video. Video. Watch my daddy's video. Watch daddy's video. <laughs> Say, please. <laughs> and then after that plays, then a his message would actually come on. He does a show called the um, Arizona Health Coach. So then the Arizona Health Coach would come on. So he captures them and then he plays his video. All right. 
Now here are the things to actually get started. Now before, it used to cost a lot of money to make videos. All right, a lot of money. You'd have to buy a video camera, you gotta buy lights, you gotta buy microphones, and it was expensive stuff, and then you have to learn how to edit, right? Well, now it's pretty simple. You just grab a webcam, right? Most of these laptops come with webcams built in. Um, grab a couple desk lamps, just light yourself up, okay? Uh, you've got your tripod, you've got your uh, video cam, and that's what uh, Alex over there is using to record, um, and then your microphone and then your software to edit. Now most of, most of the PCs, actually all the PCs and Macs do come with a free um, editing software. So you just learn how to use that really quickly or you could just do raw videos. Now the, the raw videos are the ones you just record and you send out, no editing required. Okay, and you really don't need to edit so much because the raw videos are the ones that capture people. That's how it is on YouTube. If you see a, professional, a professionally made video on YouTube, do you watch it for a long time? Probably not because your, your brain is uh, so used to uh, commercials being professional. All right? So if you shoot the raw ones, it's going to be good. And remember the player page with all your information? Well, you don't have to put your name in the video or anything because your player page speaks for you. Okay? Make sense? 